So I wanted to change my settings on the new AutoCAD 2024, but without having a place to store it or save it, it was a matter of time for AutoCAD to crash and lose all of my settings. So then what I did is I created a new profile using the options command. And here I could go ahead and go to the profile tab and there was an option here to add to the list and I proceeded to name my new profile the architecto 2024 and then finally I set current that profile and clicked OK to restore my settings if problems in the future exist. So that's one of the first settings I changed in the new AutoCAD 2024. Hello there, welcome again to another lazy show where we help you waste less time in AutoCAD. So as always, so I wanted to finalize my drawing, but my architectural style or font style wasn't being used. So I opened the options in AutoCAD and went to the file tab to add a path to my support file path. So the folder that I added, of course, was my font folder where my architectural fonts was located. So once I added it, that one, nothing really happened. My architectural fonts weren't showing. It was because I needed it to close and reopen AutoCAD. So that's what I did after I went ahead and reopened it, the new AutoCAD 2024 and went ahead and opened my drawing. I could see immediately the changes and my architectural fonts were showing like so. So I wanted to work faster in my drawings, but zooming in and out was a very slow process. So I changed a setting called zoom factor and I changed it from 20 to 100, which was the maximum. And this way I could quickly zoom in or out and work faster in my drawings. So I wanted to work faster in AutoCAD, moving or editing my objects, but I didn't have the correct snap settings to move my objects, for instance, from the midpoint, I didn't have that option. So that's why I changed some of the settings for object snaps to have first the midpoint option on. So that way I could quickly utilize and move my objects using the option of midpoint. And that way I could go ahead and move it exactly on the middle of my building, like so. Also, another snap setting that I turned on was the snap setting for the note because I wanted it to align my text using the stretch command. I wanted to align my text from this point over here and align it with this other point, but it wasn't snapping. So that's why I turned on this snap setting, which was called note. And this way I could quickly align my text from this node or edge of my text with the other one like so. So I wanted to simplify the colors of my background to something easy for my eyes, but having the paper space white like so wasn't helping. So what I did was then go to the options and change some of the background colors using this color option and went ahead and match my model background color, which was this color over here, match it to my paper space color like so. So this way I could simplify my life to kind of have the same color on model as well as paper space. 
and I already had the dif differentiation factor, which was these gray areas over here. So immediately I knew that I was on model or on paper space. Not only that, but I also changed the color of my crosshair because you can see the problem over here. If we moved from the viewport to the side, it works good. The color of my crosshair, but if I go here, it's kind of getting lost. So what I did is match the color of model space, which is white for my crosshair. And I use the same steps, the option to change the colors of my crosshair to a color white that match my model space. So this way, this crosshair color will work either if I'm here on the gray area or inside my viewport like so. So, so we want to simplify our life publishing our drawings, but every time we publish something in AutoCAD, we will have also the paper space tabs as well as the model tab, which we don't want because we 99% of the time print or publish layouts or paper space tabs. So that's another setting that I changed in AutoCAD 2024. So what I did is simply select one of the model tabs or drawing and click on it. And there was an option here that says include layouts or include model. So I unchecked, of course, the include model. So that way, the next time I publish a drawing, I would only see over here layouts or paper space tabs and not model tabs. So, but for this example, I still don't see the changes because again, you will see those changes the next time you publish. So for now, what I did is simply select this 3D DWF option. So that way I sorted it, all of my model drawings and simply erase them like so. So that way I could do my publish going over here and select, of course, my folder location. So for now, I'm going to simply save it over here under my business tab and select that and hit publish. So I would say yes and close and finally close. So you want to PDF your drawings quickly, but when you try to do so to create your PDF, I'm going to create this PDF quickly. So you have a problem over here with your PDF where there is a comment on your PDF for each text or font, as you can see, and this would cause problems because this will make the process of printing very, very slow. So we want to avoid that. And the way we do it is changing a setting in AutoCAD, PDF, S, H, X. So that's the setting that we need to change in AutoCAD 2024 from one to zero. And this way, when you create your PDF, so I'm gonna create my PDF and say save. We won't have this problem of comments showing in your PDF like so. So the last setting I changed in AutoCAD 2024 is the ortho mode. So the ortho mode is here on my status bar. And the problem that I have with the ortho mode is that it might be turned on in one drawing, but when I start another drawing, sometimes it shows as off. So this other video on your screen is going to show you a trick to have your ortho mode always on so you can draw straight lines all the time.